features nobody knows about. You can now actually blur your home screen like this. Face ID now works in landscape mode. There's actually a duplicates folder where you can merge them. Recently deleted actually requires face ID. You can also see old Wi-Fi passwords by clicking on edit, finding a Wi-Fi, and then clicking on this and it will show up. Follow me for everything Apple tips and tricks. iOS 16 for the iPhone is coming real soon. Here are five great new features to look forward to. You'll be able to customize your lock screens in all sorts of different ways now. And you'll be able to add these functional widgets as well. In the Messages app you'll be able to edit messages for up to 15 minutes after sending them. Recipients will see the final message and be able to look at edits. You can also undo sending a message for a limited time. In the Maps app you can now have routes with multiple stops. And you can even rearrange the stops. And In the Photos app you can now look for duplicates and choose to delete or merge the duplicate images. Some of my favorite features in iOS 16. Part 1. When you take a screenshot and you hit the Done button you'll see a new option for Copy and Delete. This will copy it to your clipboard but not save it to your camera roll so you can put it into a message and send it and it doesn't get saved. You know when your friends come over and they're all pestering you for the Wi-Fi password? If you click on the Information button for your Wi-Fi network you have the option to, with Face ID authentication, show the password and copy it and send it to your friends. Thank you. So next up we have a redesigned dictation mode. Now what makes this particular implementation special is that it's able to recognize natural speech patterns in your voice. Fire emoji, 100 emoji, laughing cat face emoji. And then did you see there when I paused and it went back and it fixed a whole bunch of errors? It didn't get the 100 emoji though so it's not bulletproof. Some of those are really really useful and that's why they are Most underrated iOS 16 feature. Hidden features in iOS 16. Let's go. There's now a duplicates folder in iOS 16 so we can merge the images into one to save space or delete them entirely. Recently deleted and hidden folders now requires face ID or passwords. Love that new feature. Finally, we can now go into our Wi Fi password list to see passwords to share with friends or even just to edit your password list in general. There's a new option to enable haptic feedback while typing on your keyboard. A fun little new feature is that whenever you long press on the images in your camera roll, you could share it as a PNG file to your friends or just over on social media. There's a new option to blur your home screen wallpaper which looks really sick. Who'd have thought Face ID now works in landscape mode. Now this is not really a hidden feature but in iMessage you could edit or send messages you send for up to 15 minutes after you send that initial message. Use your powers wisely. 10 things about iOS 16 that you should know about. The stock keyboard application now has haptic touch, finally. 
animated wallpapers that smoothly transition as you unlock your iPhone. The ability to edit and unsend an iMessage that has already been sent. So say goodbye to awkward 3 a.m. texts. The new wallpaper gallery gives you the ability to add presets to your lock screen. So maybe one day you'll like this lock screen with these widgets and the next day you might want to use this. Your iPhone will now add to the activity rings even if you do not have an Apple Watch, so you can be more health conscious. Notifications finally do not take up the entire lock screen. If you want to see them, swipe up. If you want to hide them, swipe down. Now you can make stickers out of subjects in photos by simply clicking on them and pressing copy, then going into messages and press paste. Apple Pay Later allows you to split the payments of a purchase across six weeks, similar to Klarna. Apple Maps got even better in select cities and looks amazing with all the added detail. There is now a quick search function on the home screen which makes it easier and more intuitive to search throughout your phone. The new iOS 16 is here and here are some cool things that you can now do on your iPhone. From the lock screen, you can now easily just modify your wallpaper by just pressing and holding and you can scroll across and add a new one. You can customize it and do all kind of different things. You can even fade in the wallpaper now. Next, you can choose to show or hide your battery percentage just by going into settings. Go into your battery and you can show battery percentage. You can now also switch on haptic feedback when you type on your phone. So go into sound settings, scroll down to keyboard feedback and switch on haptic. In photos, you now also have your hidden photos, they're not locked, so you can only get into them using your face ID or passcode. Another one is duplicates, so if you go into duplicates, it will show you all the photos that are duplicate on your phone, and you can either merge them or just delete them, whatever you want to do, so let's merge that one for example. Done. You can now also do some cool things with photos, so for example, you can drag an oldest picture, it gives you a nice cutout of what it is, and you can take that into your messaging app, and you can just send it to your friends. Pretty cool. Follow me for some more cool tips.